Hi, I'm Sean Bryce, Nuke Product Manager, and today I'm going to be telling you about what's coming up on our next major release, Nuke 10. For this release, we focused on improvements that will impact artists' day-to-day -day work. So there's a lot of performance enhancements, feature improvements, and bug fixes across the entire family. There are core compositing updates in Nuke and Nuke X, including paint and rendering improvements, timeline enhancements and new software fixes in Nuke Studio, and additional improvements and fixes across the entire Nuke family. Starting off with overall performance improvements, we've done a lot of work to improve the way that Nuke's localization system works. From having a single unified way to localize files, to having a much more informative UI, we've also done a lot of work to improve performance and stability, giving artists a much better user experience and saving them time. To further improve Nuke's speed when working with processing intensive nodes, Nuke 10 also includes enhancements to Nuke's GPU support. There is now NVIDIA multi-GPU support for two identical GPUs, which will work for all our existing and future GPU nodes. There is also added support for AMD cards on the newer MacBook Pros. Additionally, we're working with HP to expand our range of certified hardware systems. Keep an eye out for more details coming soon. We've also enhanced some of the core compositing tools in Nuke, starting with the Vectorblur node, which we've updated the algorithm to give much better output results, as well as putting it on the GPU, so the processing can now be done in a much faster time on the card. We spent a lot of time profiling the various components of the Rotor Paint node's painting engine to find where the bottlenecks exist, and have subsequently improved those areas. This allows artists to work more interactively with a high number of paint and clone strokes, and do more paint work in a single Rotor Paint node. With the new Smart Paint toolset coming to NukeX and Nuke Studio, artists will be able to use a new form of vector that they've generated from image sequences to automatically push and warp the input image texture over a number of frames, including sequences with complex motion and subtle detail. Smart Paint introduces a new, simplified workflow for artists to approach common tasks such as cleanup, beauty work, and applying textures with a simple and accurate automated process. Nuke 10 also introduces the new Ray Render node for the entire Nuke family. The new Ray Render node provides artists with true 3D ray trace rendered output in scanline format with multiple areas of improvement over the scanline render node, including lower memory footprint, higher quality motion blur and shadows, point light shadow support, faster nonlinear spherical projection, and extended support for reflections and ambient occlusion. In Nuke 10, we've continued to improve Nuke Studio's timeline toolset by adding new soft effects, such as a new real-time keyer, enhanced audio capabilities, and improve performance and stability. On the performance front, we focused on a number of core areas, including playback and stability on short and long form projects, accelerated file transcoding and export speed, and more responsive UI interaction. This release offers a number of new and enhanced features. With the new audio scrubbing feature, you can now scrub through audio samples on the timeline, providing the ability to easily match specific points in a clip or sequence to the audio. Audio scrubbing can also be used in tandem with the existing visible audio waveform, in Nuke 10, Nuke Studio also gains some new soft effects on the timeline. We've created a new soft effect for the existing color correct node, allowing this popular tool to be used in real time in the timeline environment. So you'll be able to play with your midtones, your shadows, and your highlight, and view everything in real time. We added the ability for the Blink Script node to run with the GLSL GPU path in the Nuke Studio timeline and the compositing node graph. This enables third party developers and pipeline engineers to use the Blink Script node for creating real time Blink Script soft effects in the Nuke Studio timeline. The new Chroma Key Soft Effect and Node is created using the new BlinkScript GLSL GPU functionality and serves as a great example as to what developers can achieve. Chroma Key is a GPU accelerated blue and green skin key with a focus on playback speed so that it can be used as a soft effect on Nuke Studio's timeline. This allows artists to do keying work directly on the timeline in real time. It can be used together with the overlay track functionality added in Nuke 9.0 v7 to provide a real time keying and overlay solution to see your keyed elements on top of the background elements. In addition to the feature enhancements and performance improvements in this release, in Nuke 10, we're fixing a large number of bugs that artists have identified as high priority issues across the entire Nuke range, focusing in the following areas, exporting, playback, roto, large project handling, and various workflow fixes. With the Nuke 10 release, we focused on improvements that will impact artists' day-to-day -day work, including paint, rendering, and performance updates. We're excited to share this release with you. Nuke 10 will be coming in early 2016.